Hi, I'm Michelle Everett. I am 25 years old and I live in Greensboro. <laughs> I am currently reading. Um, uh, I'm finishing, well, okay, I'm rereading The Ethics of Ambiguity because I didn't, by Simone de Beauvoir because I didn't understand it the first time. <laughs> and I um, really want to reread it for the next project that I'm doing. So, like, I feel like it's important. Um, so I'm reading that, and then um, I want to move on to Simone Vale after that, because y'all have a book that I've been looking for. Um, um, I was feeling, <laughs> I was feeling a lot of things about. Um, it's very overwhelming, I think, to be in the world right now. Um, at least it is for me, and I don't really. Um, it's hard for me to just like journal and be like, this is how I, I feel because there's not exact words that match my exact feelings and like the, the, the ambiguity that's in <laughs> and all of the, the weird dissonant stuff that's like in it. So I'm like, I have to, there has to be like, I have to create a whole nother language for it. So I guess the poem to me is like another framework. Like I'm trying to, I'm trying to break through to a sense of urgency, um, <laughs> really about uh, what it's like to be alive at this time. Like, I want people to know that it's intense. Uh, <laughs> I was feeling a lot of, um, I was feeling overwhelmed. I was feeling anxious about the future. Um, yeah, I just think there's a lot of issues that especially the pandemic has like kind of illuminated that, that are in, that's in like the structure of our everyday lives. Uh, <laughs> um, and I just feel, you know, you turn on the news and there's literally, I mean, not that I watch the news, I read, I get stuff on my phone about like stories, all of this, <laughs> all of, you know, literally I could name any story and be like, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a lot. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and also just this sense of like, I, I personally have a lot, like I'm in a lot of debt, you know, like I have a lot of um, things that make it hard to, to have the future that we're supposed to want yeah. and I, I know a lot of people that are suffering right now that are having issues um, just literally paying rent surviving mm -hmm. uh, and so is that just gonna it's gonna keep getting worse or and then we're just gonna pretend like it's not um, you know so those are things I think about as I'm getting older and interacting with people I don't think we're having the right conversations there we go we're not having the right conversations and so we're stuck, okay, what do we value as a society? What do we actually value, you know? And if we say that we value the education of our children, how do we show it? If we say that we value, you know, um, all the shit that we say that we actually value, how do we, how do we work towards that and not just, you know, because I don't really have an interest in building a few, like, when I think of the future, I don't think of material things because that doesn't really, you know, <laughs> that's not even accessible to me anymore. Like I live in a world where I'm not going to be able to own a house here. So it's like, I, I don't, I'm not thinking about, you know, ownership and more and more and more and more like power and spreading my shit around. I'm thinking about like, what are the relationships I'm going to have? What is, um, um, you know, how are we all going to work together to have like a cool, you know, I don't know. I, in my brain, Anything good that has happened has happened when people come together. And like, if I was a hashtag, what would it be? What? Hashtag open future. Okay.